U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited our area today to get a first-hand look at the need behind a new port terminal at the mouth of the Fox River. New at 4, Brittany Schmidt met up with him as he toured the Port of Green Bay. Jeff, it is windy out here and the waves are rather choppy as well, but it didn't stop U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg from getting on a boat and touring around the old Pulliam power plant, soon to be turned into a $25 million state-of-the-art new port facility. We first alerted you to the news of a new port facility last October when the county secured the last of the funds needed to make this happen with a final $10.1 million federal grant from President Joe Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law. The design of the 40 acre port will include new dock walls, dredging, filling the old slip, a rail spur, and stormwater management features to allow for better movement of bulk cargo. That in itself, Buttigieg says, will make Northeast Wisconsin economically viable in the years to come. And it's about time because uh, this city and this region is so key to Midwest commerce and so well positioned because of its infrastructure. A major highway just half a mile away. You got that rail line that connects right into the port. You got links into the St. Lawrence Seaway, a shipping route that can get goods from the Midwest out all around the world. Now that Buttigieg is off the boat, he is going to talk to some local truck drivers to see how the administration can better support those who help keep the supply chain moving. Reporting in Green Bay, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News.